Hi, welcome back to another episode of Realm Tale. We're here on top of the Iron Ink building, which we built two episodes ago. Last episode was a bit of a world tour, but we're back here on Realm Tale, and I have a very exciting build today. That's right, guys, Space Pigs is back. I never named this fire station over here because this is now officially SPFD, the Space Pigs Fire Department. Of course, we need a fire department if we're launching all sorts of rockets doing experiments on pigs. We're going to need to make sure they're safe. So Space Pigs Foundation is going to start right here. I'm so excited for this build. Okay, so this build actually is going to use a whole ton of quartz. So I've been really busy with the villagers in here. I have a whole ton of these guys lined up selling me quartz here. So all of these masons have quartz trades unlocked. And I've gathered a whole ton of quartz blocks here, which I think is basically the quickest way to get quartz. We mostly need slabs, so we're not going to use as much quartz here. But I have almost a shulker full of it. I can always get more while I'm doing the building. And then the other thing I need is iron trap doors. I ranted earlier in this season that iron trap doors were very annoying to get because we use some of them down here in this build. Uh, uh, there's a whole ton of trap doors in there uh so of course the iron farm is going to be used for those iron trap doors so again we're still getting a good quantity of iron here so i'm going to use that as well for the build and then obviously concrete and all the other blocks that we've basically been using all season long we'll need so we're basically set for materials let's crack on we are back at space pigs this place is amazing look at this i'm so happy with the way it turned out Nowhere near done, to be honest. I still need to do a lot of interior work for the space station itself. And then, I guess it's not really a space station, more like a space HQ space station. One of the thingies that, you know, floats in the sky. We also need to fix out the runway and launch pads. But other than that, everything is pretty cool. The space pigs, this one's definitely made more for looks and not very practical for doing the fun space pig experiments that we do. However, I do want to move that guy way in here somewhere i'm not sure where to put him i'm gonna use the free cam here possibly to put him like you see kind of how he's holding on to the edge of this he's kind of got that like curve i'm thinking we could honestly put him holding onto the bottom of this or the bottom of this and this is probably one of my favorite parts this little arch that is formed uh, on the launch pad which is held holding up the launch pad it's a very nice looking arch it makes a very modern look to the entire space station uh i keep calling it a space station it's more space pigs I guess, I don't know what you would really call this. So yeah, I'm very happy with the way it turned out here. But yeah, like I said, I still have a lot of work to do with the interiors and then the overall runway here. I'm going to put, you know, a ton of carpets having, you know, the yellow lines and white lines and stuff like that and hide the torches underneath because this is actually too thick here. There's a lot of uh, quartz slabs on the bottom here. Again, I said I needed a whole ton of quartz. And as you can see, this build does have a whole ton of quartz on the bottom part. The other part I need... A whole ton of iron trap doors. Uh, I'm actually completely out. I think I have 13 iron trap doors to my name. Uh, basically exhausted all of the iron golem supplies there, and we are basically empty. And the build technically is fine at the moment. I'm like satisfied with this, but I would like some more iron trap doors. You see, I kind of did a pattern around here. I would like that to follow up here and kind of you know dot all the way around here and put it more on the top of buildings to prevent mob spawns versus just carpets because I think the iron trap doors look more modern space station themed not really the carpets so i would prefer the trap doors so we're probably going to get some more iron down the road and put those in but other than that i'm super happy with the space station here all right guys welcome to space pigs it is now officially complete i got the carpet down all across the runway here so as you can see we have like a proper looking area what's better yet is i actually hit a ton of hidden lighting underneath a lot of this stuff so it's actually able to stay spawn proof i had to compromise a little bit of spawn proof in here i think it's actually a little bit too dark in here but i don't want to place torches and there's not really anywhere i could put hidden lighting and i just really like the way of it so i'm compromising the way it looks for overall lighting like i had to put these in here and these have hidden lighting in there uh it doesn't look that good but like mobs would spawn in here and I, I don't want a creeper blowing up my nice looking area but i'm super happy with the interior in here it just also look like a super modern area where you know you launch your rockets and you have some observation areas on the sides here uh and then we even have like these areas where the uh rockets will be built and launched here i have no idea what i'm gonna actually do for the rockets because the whole idea is to play around with the pigs in minecraft and do testing with them and possibly they might have to die but that's all right those are sacrifices we're willing to make i'm thinking underneath here down the line i put like you know space pig gravestones down here because i have a feeling a couple fallen soldiers will occur but this is basically space pigs completed i've yet to finish the fire station over here but spfd will go on the side obviously standing for space pigs fire department so i'm super happy wow that was 
that was pretty cool. Uh, super happy with the way this turned. I'm cleaning up all this junk as well because everything is kind of everywhere. So we're gonna clean up all of this and um, get it out of the way because Space Pigs is officially opened for business. So I took the liberty to just finish up the SPFD, the Space Pigs Fire Department here. So now it has its official, you know, standings on the side SPFD. It's got the green on the roofs here, even put some more carpets down to mob proof it. And on the other side, we have a smaller logo of SPFD on the side of this. So obviously in case something goes terribly wrong at the launch site, uh, a rocket explodes or something, a pig dies, which will most definitely happen if we do do a space pig testing later on, we have this fire department nearby to come and save the day. So. That is a very cool kind of build, and I love the pairing that we have here of the, the fire department and the actual space station. All right, guys, now with Space Pigs officially being finished, I'm working on transferring not all of them, but some of them from the head of this pig that T pranked me with uh, into the actual... Oh, God, that's a lot of pigs. Okay, just just need one guy. Okay, or, or a couple move back guys there we go all right that will do for now and i think honestly the best way to transport these guys is going to be on saddle which is kind of crazy but yeah it's probably going to be the best way so we're off uh not the quickest mode of transportation but honestly not a bad one to get the pig there and then we'll just you know head on back and get the other pig so yeah this is my life now there we have it there's first pigo in uh Thing would can we take this out oh wait can you even take saddles off a pig once you put them on you can't wait it, there surely there's a way maybe not all right well in that case that guy gets to have a little saddle on his back for the rest of his life god that that pig's he's been through some stuff nope move out of the way there we go and the second pig is in all right perfect uh and let's put the actual door in here uh, so those are now officially the first Space Pigs residence. So I'm going to breed you guys up and we're going to populate the inside of this area, make it look like a space headquarters. Uh, down the line, once I get enough pigs, I want to move in some pigs up here. This is going to be like the command center. I think it'd be pretty cool to get some pigs in there. Potentially, I think this would be a really cool idea, some zombie pigmen as well. I, would, do zombie pigmen attack normal pigs? If they don't, that'd be pretty cool to get some of them in here because it's like humanoid pigmen. Uh, in here i would prefer like like the normal piglins but they, they turn to zombies no matter what so that's kind of unfortunate but i would kind of like that that would be pretty cool to kind of have like human pigs operating the area as well so yeah that might be something to get, do down the line but at the very least i definitely want pigs in that top area i think that'd be pretty cool uh at least so i'm gonna clean up some of this netherrack and space pigs are now officially operational another thing i've been doing is actually right over here i decided to terraform the entire side of the mega base so josh city is no longer floating at least in this quadrant and i gotta say the terraforming look at that there's a pig even climbing uh the terraforming didn't come out great i'm not gonna lie it, but there's not much i can do i mean unless if i really wanted to i can make you know stretch out and gradually come down but that's a lot of grass blocks and a lot of time and i'm gonna be honest pig i don't have enough time he doesn't even notice that it's fake land like all of this is hollow so he, he doesn't seem to notice so uh, surely if it's good enough for the pig it's good enough for me and yeah i even kind of carried the road down here i this road i definitely think is too steep uh but i'll probably just bring it like probably to around here make it kind of look like it's even in the village i even had to destroy some of the village houses as you can see the path goes right in here there were some village houses i had to destroy to uh build this uh, in here but yeah i still have to do it obviously on all the other quadrants but that's one of three and that was like four shulker boxes of grass. So if we check the stat again, let me fly higher up here. The items, and it would be times used because it's grass blocks. Now my most placed block, beating out gray concrete and cyan terracotta, which are obviously blocks used a ton for the actual base. So just to keep that in mind, I've built more grass and land than I've built buildings, basically, in this entire area. That's that's kind of crazy so yeah that's that's just something that i've just been working on in the background all right guys so i know the video is not very long it's probably and i'm gonna be 10 minutes i'm not sure yet post editing josh will probably fix me there but yeah i'm gonna call that an episode for today it may not be a long episode but geez a lot of building has been done with obviously all of the space pigs area which can't wait to actually do space pigs testing that will come soon hopefully in the next a couple uh, upcoming videos here we're probably going to be able to finally start testing with the pigs i'll probably build a couple couple rocket ships down the line as well so something to keep in mind uh to look forward to in the future so if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and if you really enjoyed it subscribe stay tuned so you don't miss out on space pigs in the future thanks again for watching stay tuned for more